Tuesday. Yes, it was Tuesday when I saw my congressman coming out of the titty bar. He didn't look like my congressman, but that's okay. Nobody really looks like themselves anymore. I think it's got something to do with that crap they've been pouring into the water. I decided it might be wise to follow the congressman just to see what he was up to. After all, my tax dollars do pay his salary. The congressman got into a taxi, so I hailed a taxi, despite the obvious dangers involved. And the colored voices in my head began to sing. All I gotta do is put my ear to the wall, and I can hear it all. Yes, I can hear it all. All I gotta do is put my ear to the wall, and I can even hear the little insect crawl. The congressman was in taxi number 23, and I was in cab 17. But numbers are meaningless in this kind of cat and squid game. My driver was an Aries, and he laughed when I said follow that cab, and he kept laughing until he saw the cold blue steel of Little Elvis. Keep your goddamn hands off that radio, I warned him. I work for the government. This is actually a half-truth. I'm really a bike courier, but I make a lot of deliveries to government offices. That's where I heard about the cheese, and the colored voices in my head kept singing. All I gotta do is put my head in a wall, and I can hear it. government program called Operation The Cheese Stands Alone. It's the congressman's pet project. They claim that they're giving surplus cheese to the needy. I, of course, have my suspicions. After 15 very quiet minutes, the congressman's cab pulled up outside a warehouse. I had the Aries circle around the building and drop me off. He seemed to be grasping the importance of my mission, since he said that I didn't have to pay him, as long as I promised to stay very far away from him and his taxi. I swear some people just don't